Amber Heard lost her chance to appeal because of this reason. She can't stick to one story. The actress is making everything worse for her and her team of lawyers by doing this. She keeps changing her stories, or maybe lies even, to make them more convenient to her situation. The six-week defamation trial between Amber and her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, was one of the longest celebrity trials we've ever watched live. There were so many witnesses taking different sides and so many confusing pieces of evidence presented, to the point that some were just plain useless. This all started because Amber Heard wrote an op ed in the Washington Post, claiming that she's a survivor of domestic abuse in her past marriage. She started becoming a public figure representing abuse, as she would claim, and from then on, she ruined her ex's career because of all those accusations. Johnny Depp sued her in return and here we are now. With Johnny winning and Amber desperate to appeal, we'll never forget the time she said that she'll never forget the first time someone abuses you because your life changes after that. Well, you never forget it. That's how I remember it. It changes your life forever. You never forget the first time someone hits you like that. But what's crazy is that she actually forgot the first time Johnny Depp ever abused her. Or maybe she just decided on the spot that she's changing the statements she said while on the stand. Before, Amber claimed that the first abuse took place because of Johnny's Wino Forever tattoo. Looked like muddled, faded tattoo that was hard to read. And I said, what, is it, what does it say? And he said, it says Wino, it says Wino. And I, um, I didn't see that. I thought he was joking uh, because it didn't look like it said that at all. And I laughed. It was that simple. Um, I, I just laughed because I thought he was joking and slapped me across the face. That was a tattoo of his ex-girlfriend Winona Ryder, to which he changed to Wino when they broke up. Amber said that Johnny slapped her across the face because she hated it, but then she reveals that she's taking back that statement. You never forget the first time someone hits you like that. I just had the date wrong and wants to say that the abuse took place earlier in the relationship, but she didn't want to admit it because she was so in love. I'm embarrassed to say I think I would have liked to have believed that the period of time in which I had to fall in love with Johnny, in which we fell in love and he was sober and he wasn't violent to me, lasted for a lot longer. She just changed narratives during that one week break the court had. People were confused and started to make fun of her because of it. She had a lot of things to correct after that week break. What changed mid-testimony over the week long break? Her repressed memories appeared to kick in and suddenly found these notes. They said, how could she appeal the jury's verdict now if keeps changing narratives? Her lawyers say that she has strong grounds to do so, but we can't see it. Strong grounds where? This is a huge deal in court. Retracting testimonies is a big no-no. You can't just change what you said under oath out of nowhere. Maybe, just maybe, Amber should have just moved on after the jury gave their verdict. This also isn't the first time she changed her stories. At first, she claimed to have never hit Johnny. Then, she proceeds to say she only hit him once. She also said she donated all of the 7 million divorce settlement money but convinces us that she did so by pledging it, which actually isn't the same thing. Now, we have a binder filled with her therapist's notes suddenly popping up in public. Are we even surprised? She practically fired her first PR team just because she didn't like the media's reaction to her. She proved that she'll do anything to be seen as innocent. The appeal she's planning to do now won't be successful because of this. Who knows how many times she'll change stories again. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.